Hello friends, <coughs> welcome to AIMS Today YouTube channel. So here we are going to AIMS in your live sessions. In this, in this class we are going to discuss about subject chemistry. In that, about synthetic fibers and uh, plastics chapter we are going to discuss. In that, one of the parts is uh, about uh, synthetic fibers. Means uh, in that uh, chapter, it, it is one of the chapters of 8th class. Physical science, one of the first chapter it is. In this, we discuss generally about synthetic fibers and plastics. In this session, we are going to see especially about different types of synthetic fibers. What are these fibers? Which fibers are called synthetic fibers? What are different kinds of synthetic fibers? How they are used? So, these are we are going to see in this uh, session. <coughs> first, let us see what is uh, a fiber. The clothes which we wear are made up of fabrics. These uh, fabrics are made from fibers obtained from natural or artificial sources. So, fibers are obtained from either natural sources or artificial sources. These uh, fibers are made into fabrics. These fabrics are used to make uh, the clothes which we are using daily to wear. So these uh, fibers are of uh, two types based upon the sources from which they are derived. If uh, <coughs> they are derived from the natural sources, then those fibers are called as natural fibers. If those derived from uh, artificial resources, then they are called synthetic fibers or artificial fibers. Natural fibers are obtained from natural sources like uh, cotton, silk, wool, jute, coir, these all come under natural resources. So from these uh, fiber is made, that fiber which is made from these natural sources is called natural fiber. And certain fibers like uh, uh, nylon, rayon, acrylic, polyester, these all are made from synthetic material. They are not made from the natural resources. They are prepared in the laboratory by using some synthetic chemicals. That is why these fibers obtained from man, these synthetic chemicals are called as a man-made fibers or synthetic fibers. So in this way, fibers are classified into two types based upon the sources, natural fibers and synthetic fibers. First, let us say about these natural fibers. The fibers which are obtained from natural resources like uh, uh, cotton wool as we told already, these all are called as a natural fibers. Example, we can say cotton fiber, silk fiber, wool fiber, these all are the different uh, fibers which are obtained from natural resources. So cotton, we get it from cotton blocks of certain plants. And the silk, we know this silk is derived from the moths of uh, silk worm. And uh, wool is obtained from the hair of the sheep and egg. So in this way, these fibers are having their origins from natural and living things, certain plants and animals. So here, the natural fiber obtained from plants is called as a plant fiber. So cotton is a plant fiber. So we can say simply, natural fibers are again of two types based upon the resources or from which it is derived. So cotton is obtained from living things like plants. So cotton is a <coughs> plant fiber, plant natural fiber you can say. If you see silk, silk is obtained from silk worms. So silk worms are, uh, comes under animal category. So silk is a animal fiber. If you see wool, wool is also obtained from animals like sheep and egg. So, this wool also come under animal fiber. Some other examples for natural fibers you can say jute. Jute is obtained from plants. It is a bark of jute plant. From the bark of jute plant, jute is obtained. Jute fiber is derived, made. So, jute is one of the plant fiber. If I say coir, coir also used for making of ropes and carpets. So, this coir is obtained from the uh, coconut uh, shell. So, this is also one of the plant fiber. In this way, natural fibers are the fibers which are obtained from natural resources like uh, 
cotton, silk, wool, sheep, this all. So these natural fiber again classified into two categories, where plant fiber and animal fiber. Next about artificial fibers or synthetic fibers. Fibers that are made or created by the humans are known as synthetic fibers or man-made fibers. These are not naturally occurring. These are made or created by human beings in the laboratory by using chemicals and these all. That is why they are called man-made fibers also or synthetic fibers. For example, rayon, nylon, acrylic, polyester, these all come under synthetic or man-made fibers. These all are prepared in the laboratory by humans. See here, rayon, nylon, acrylic, these are examples for the synthetic fibers. <coughs> A synthetic fiber as well as plastic is made up of a chain of small units which combine to form a polymer. So here the small units are known as the monomers. What are these monomers? A monomer is a single molecule that can bond with other identical molecules to form a polymer through a process called polymerization. So here the word monomer represents single molecule. So, in the formation of synthetic fibers, these single molecules of chemical substances, they combine together. So, we can represent a monomer like this. Suppose it is a monomer. So, these are monomers are single molecules of chemical substances. They combine one to other to form long chain molecules, which are called as the polymers. <coughs> so, polymers are formed from the monomers. This is a formation of polymers from monomers is called polymerization. So, mono represents a single. Mer is nothing but unit or molecule. Mono mer means single unit or single molecule. So, monomers combine together to form polymers. Here in this part term, poly represents many. Mer represents unit or molecule. Polymer means the compound formed by the many molecules by combining one to other. So let us see what is polymer definitionally. Polymers is a polymer is a Greek word in which poly represents many and mer represents an unit or a molecule. So polymer nothing but many molecules formed from unit molecules or monomers. So hence, polymers are large molecules made up of several molecules linked together. So you can show, you can represent a polymer like that. We shown here, monomer means single molecule. So, so many single molecules are combined together to form a polymer. So almost all the synthetic fabrics are made from these polymers. Not only synthetic fibers, even certain natural fibers are also polymers. Example, cotton if you say. Cotton is a natural fiber, but it is made from, it is a, containing a chemical substance called cellulose. Cellulose is a large polymeric molecule. So, not only synthetic, synthetic fibers are made from polymers. Not only synthetic, even certain natural fibers are also containing these polymer molecules. Let us see the categorization of these synthetic fibers. <coughs> uh, types of synthetic fibers. First among them is uh, rayon. So rayon is one of the synthetic fibers which is obtained by the chemical treatment of wood pulp and it is also known as artificial silk because it seems like silk. So rayon is a synthetic fiber but it is uh, prepared from natural wood pulp. So we can say the, uh, the only one synthetic fiber which is having its origin from natural resources. So rayon is said to be an artificial fiber or a synthetic fiber, but it is prepared from natural wood pulp. Wood pulp is undergone chemical treatment to obtain this rayon. And this rayon seems like silk, which is obtained from uh, silk worms. So it seems like silk, but it is not really a silk. It is prepared from wood pulp. That is why it seems like silk, so it is called artificial silk. Artificial silk. Rayon is artificial silk. 
rain fiber can be made in different colors by dyeing dyeing in the sense uh, giving colors adding colors so this rain fiber can be uh, made into different colors by giving dyes to that rayon is very cheap compared to silk so it seems like silk it appears like silk it uh, is a uh, furnish uh, finishing and the smoothness will be almost all like a uh, silk fiber but it is uh, cheaper than silk because it is made in the private laboratory <coughs> so mostly for replacing silk uh, they use uh, this rayon fiber in fabrication rayon rayon is mixed with cotton to make bed sheets and it is mixed with uh, wool to make carpets so to give the smoothness this rayon is mixed with the uh, cotton as well as uh, uh, this wool to give different uh, fabrications like uh, bed sheets on the carpets so here we can say some carpets and bed sheets are shown this carpet is made of uh, actually uh, this uh, <coughs> wool mixed with rayon these bed sheets are made with uh, cotton to give the smoothness this cotton is mixed with rayon rayon can be can imitate the feel and texture of silk wool cotton linen the drap and uh, slipperiness so it can replace many of the naturally occurring uh, fibers like uh, silk wool cotton and these are because of its uh, smooth and slippery nature and this uh, smooth texture it is uh, replacing these all naturally occurring fibers so as we told our uh, rayon is also known as artificial silk why it is called so why rayon is called artificial silk let us see here rayon resembles silk in appearance texture and even its shine also hence it is called as artificial silk rayon is hand on all properties which are are there for silk but it is prepared in the laboratory hence it is called artificial silk silk fiber was discovered in china and made from silk forms yes the silk fiber was first discovered in china and you know it is kept a secret the preparation of some the silk for decades china kept it a secret without telling the manufacturing method of silk to the <coughs> universe it is kept it secret and sold this uh, uh, silk for for higher costs for long, for decades but later on it had because it is uh, uh, ha it has it is having beautiful texture and because of this it is was very costly by the end of 19th century scientists managed to make an artificial silk like fiber made by treating wood pulp chemically so for uh, as i told for a long time china kept this uh, discovery of silk secret they did not say to the world how this silk is prepared but uh, they prepared this silk and uh, they made into fiber and fabrications and they sold this fiber and fabric for cost for higher cost for to the world and because of its uh, smooth texture they call they bought it for higher cost and finally after few years scientists uh, they managed to find out how to prepare this uh, artificial silk in the laboratory from the chemicals so what are the uses of this rayon man made fiber uses natural material and can be woven like silk fiber so because this is one of the man made fibers but it is made from natural material wood pulp and it is a uh, seem like wool silk uh, so almost all the uh, fabrication can be done with this it is cheaper than silk and can be dyed in varieties of colors so it can be used to make apparels like suits slacks slacks and jackets etc so it is the making of this all <coughs> and it is to make auto woven tie cords because uh, it is uh, having a high strength it is making of tie cords also mixed with cotton to make bed sheets and uh, bed spreads and after uh, when it is uh, mixed with the wool to make carpets and blankets when it is uh, <coughs> under this rayon is used to make other home furnishing such as curtains and uh, table cloths these are also made with this rayon so these are the different uses of rayon and it is called artificial silk because of its smooth texture 
seems like uh, silk and its uh, shining appearance because of these all properties which are having silk it is also called as silk but it is naturally it is not naturally prepared it is prepared from uh, in the laboratory from the man made so it is called artificial silk next let us see one more artificial fiber or synthetic fiber nylon nylon is is a fast synthetic fiber to be prepared without using any natural or raw material so it is a fast fully synthetic fiber prepared in the laboratory as we told rayon it is also synthetic but what we told it is prepared from natural resource wood pulp but uh, <coughs> but nylon is a fast synthetic fiber which is prepared completely from the chemicals no natural material is used in the preparation of this nylon <coughs> so which properties made this nylon suitable for making ropes used for rock climbing yes most of the rock climbing ropes are made from this nylon because this nylon is a strongest fiber among these uh, natural and synthetic fibers and it is a light in weight and it is weather resistant so these properties made this nylon to use for making uh, uh, these uh, <coughs> ropes used for rock climbing and even parachute ropes also made by this nylon because this is a uh, very strong and uh, this is used for making fish nets also why because this is uh, as we told already it is strong fiber and it is elastic and it is water resistant so these properties made this nylon used for to make it used for fish nets and uh, what properties made to make it used for tents nowadays uh, these uh, tents are also made from this uh, nylon fiber because as we told already it is stronger than other any other fibers and it is light in weight it is way more fetching for making these all utensils it is light in weight it can be carried easily than any other but it is being more stronger light and strong this combination made it very uh, unique and does not absorb much water dries quickly yes this won't absorb much water and even it can be dried very quickly also so these properties made nylon to be used for making tents and these all let us see based upon these properties what are the major uses of this nylon <coughs> this nylon is developed in 1931 and this thermoplastic silky material used is a strong elastic light lustrous and easy to wash so these all of these special properties of nylon one of the thing is it is light in weight it can be carried very easily so and it is a uh, even it is light it is more stronger it cannot be broken very it cannot be broken easily it is very tough and elastic also and it is having luster it is shiny and it can be washed very easily so because of these all unique properties nylon made very special among all the synthetic fibers a nylon treated is uh, in fact stronger than a steel wire yes if you take uh, two two wires with the same thickness one from steel wire and one from nylon wire nylon wire is much stronger than steel wire say its uh, strength because of this uh, high strength this nylon is used in making of parachutes parachute wires rope climbing ropes and these tents and is all it is used and shoelaces these are also made of uh, is nylon see different uh, apparels or tools made of this uh, nylon are given here <coughs> so uh, it is used in making of clothes including socks so yes these uh, socks nowadays were using are made up of uh, this nylon uh, this nylon is used in making of parachutes as well as uh, ropes for rock climbing making of uh, ropes toothbrush bristles i think uh, we are using daily these toothbrush those bristles of this toothbrush are made up of nylon and uh, car seat belts so here these seat belts are made up of uh, nylon and these ropes which will be very stronger so these are all made up of nylon and uh, <coughs> tents 
curtains and the sleeping bags these all are you made by this nylon you can see here some more these are dental floss flosses so which are used to clean the uh, dent teeth these are also made up of nylon so the different uses of nylon mainly these all uses are depending on the peculiar and unique properties of nylon they are strong elastic light and lustrous these are the special properties of nylon and hence these many uses of it there with this nylon lustrous means a shining property it shines than other any uh, natural or synthetic fiber so next let us see about one more uh, synthetic fiber which is called polyester polyester fiber does not get wrinkled easily wrinkled means uh, getting folds we if we use uh, uh, generally cotton or wool or silk if used a few times without ironing them they gets uh, folded but a uh, polyester won't get any wrinkles even used for long time it won't get any wrinkles hence this uh, a fabric made from this fiber is easy to wash and does not need to be ironed if you use cotton or, or these uh, silk uh, clothes after using one or two times if you wash them they will get they will be folded there and here to make this neat again we have to iron every time but the fabric made from this polyester won't get wrinkles even if you wash number of times that is why these are preferred in making this fabric because no need of any ironing continue every time which makes uh, uh, suitable for dress materials next polyester is made up of two words the name polyester is made up of two words they are poly already we told this in terms of polymer so poly means many and ester is one of the chemicals so the chemical ester is uh, made number of times to combine chemically and this polyester is made so so ester is one of the chemical so it is having ester molecules these so many ester molecules are combined together to form polyester <coughs> esters are chemicals which give fruits their smell yes it is one of the chemicals present in even fruits also we get uh, uh, that fragrance of ripe and fruit this is because that uh, the special smell for the fruit is given by the chemical called ester present in them some popular polyesters so these are uh, polyest these are polyesters are of different kinds again based upon the ester molecules present in them so one of few of them are shown here terlin is one of the polyester and polyethylene terephthalate we call this as a pet so this pet name often in our regular daily life also will be observing some bottles used for food preservation and uh, drinking water bottles and soft drink bottles these are made from this polyester poly polyethylene terephthalate it is called simply in a shortcut form it is called pet polyester polyethylene terephthalate is one of the polyesters used for making these all bottles and utensils used for preservation of food and soft drinks so these are different types of uh, polyesters <clears throat> so sometimes uh, certain fibers are called uh, blended fibers what are these blended fibers blended fibers are formed by mixing natural and synthetic fibers so when two or more fibers natural or polymer synthetic uh, fibers if they are mixed then the obtained uh, resultant fiber is called blended fiber polyester is often used in blending of uh, fibers so polyester is blended with uh, certain natural fibers for example polycot is one of the blended fiber which is uh, prepared or made by mixing polyester with cotton one more it is there <coughs> so here polycot poly wool also one of the blended fiber so here by mixing polyester with natural fibers we are making these blended fibers if polyester is mixed with uh, cotton then the resultant fiber obtained is called polycot if this polyester is mixed with wool then the resultant uh, fiber obtained is called polywool 
in this way the fiber obtained by mixing two or more natural and synthetic fibers is known as blended fiber example they have shown here polycord these blended fibers or mixed fibers are having the best properties of both the fibers which are mixed to make it for example this polycord is having special special properties like this so polyester is having these properties and the cotton is having these properties which are comfortable for us so when these two are mixed that obtained a, a blended fiber which we are calling as polycord it is having these all properties which are combined or which are obtained from these all polyester and cotton in this way when fibers are mixed the resultant is called blended fiber polycord is mixture of polyester and cotton <coughs> blending i told already you know blending means mixing so if you take few uh, fiber of uh, cotton and a fiber of uh, polyester if you mix those two that we call ironing if you iron them those fibers obtained are called as a blended fibers so what are the uses of these polyesters since polyester is strong wrinkle resistant as you told wrinkle resistance means it won't get folds even after using number of times even after washing number of times also it won't get any folds on it whereas uh, some natural fibers they will get easily folded after certain washings and it is water resistance also because of these properties polyester is also having several uses let us see those one by one it can be used to make a variety of textiles and can be blended with natural fibers yes because it can be easily dyed into different uh, attractive colors and it is very strong than natural fibers and mostly it is wrinkle resistant so because of these properties it is uh, made into different uh, varieties of textiles and it is uh, made into blended fibers also by mixing with uh, natural fibers we have, we have shown already example polycot polywool is all are so in making of uh, films and magnetic recording tapes also this polyester is used so of course nowadays these are not there in the olden days <coughs> they used uh, uh, these uh, recording tapes for listening audio by recording or what to watch these movies they used these uh, recording tapes these recording tapes are made of this polyesters in making of uh, sails and uh, sailing boats they use these these uh, sails they use uh, in boats uh, certain carpets like uh, to you uh, to move this boat with the wind help of the help of wind they use these sails these sails and these sail boats are made up of these polyesters and these polyesters also used for making of uh, <coughs> water hoses for fire fighting purposes water hoses means uh, those long pipes uh, which are used for uh, putting off these uh, fires by these uh, fire fighting uh, men so these are uh, fire fighting uh, ho water hoses also made up of these polyesters next uh, the synthetic fiber is uh, acrylic acrylic is a strong lightweight and warm synthetic fiber that resembles wool so it is available in a number of colors and is uh, more durable and affordable than natural wool so acrylic uh, it seems like wool we know wool is prepared from the hair of uh, certain animals like wool uh, i mean sheep ape and certain camels from this all hair is uh, taken and from this hair wool is prepared but uh, certain natural uh, artificial fabric which is having the all this properties characteristics uh, like wool that is acrylic so this uh, acrylic is also called fake fur it seems like hair so but uh, it is not uh, derived from the hair that is why this acrylic is also called fake fur or fake wool or artificial wool the word acrylic 
means containing acryl. Acrylene is a sharp and bitter liquid in onions and has its roots into Latin words acer, which means sharp, and olre, which means smell. So, it is one of the words which is derived from the Latin words, which means having sharp and bitter taste, which is having the chemicals it is containing causes a sharp, bitter taste to it. So, because of these two words, it is derived from the Latin words and it is called acrylic. It is one of the synthetic fibers which resembles a wool and hence it is called artificial wool or fake fur. <coughs> so, what are the uses of this uh, artificial wool or acrylic? Acrylic can be mimic wool as, uh, as well as cotton at times and is uh, hypoallergenic in nature. Hypoallergenic means uh, we won't get any allergies by using this uh, acrylic in making of these uh, cloths. Certain uh, synthetic fibers causes to some people some allergy by the wearing of those. But this uh, acrylic it seems like wool and uh, it won't uh, cause any irritation or allergy to the human beings. So it can be uh, used for replacing wool because it seems like wool, it gives the comfort uh, just like the wool, warmthness and dissolve and hence this is uh, mostly nowadays used for replacing this wool because the wool to be derived from uh, animals, it won't be available much. But uh, acrylic can be prepared in the laboratory, how much ever we want. So this is used nowadays for replacing wool. So not only that, it can be used uh, uh, to make uh, woolen clothes like uh, hats, scarves, gloves, sweaters, blankets and uh, other home furnishing fabrication. So these all can be made by using acrylic. So mostly these are the garments which we use in uh, winter to protect from uh, coolness. <coughs> and it is also used for making fur which is used for making toys and uh, fur accessories. Uh, some toys they have hair like fur that is generally in the, uh, to be derived from the plants but uh, instead of that uh, sorry it uh, should be derived from the animals but this acrylic can be replacing those it seems like uh, fur or hair only natural hair only but it can be prepared in the laboratory so it is all fur which is used in making of these toys and home accessories so these all are made from acrylic. Mimic means imitation. Imitating means uh, seems like that, but it is not that. It seems like wool, but this is the made up of acrylic. That is mimic, imitation. So making garments for babies because for babies the garments are cloth should be very smooth and comfortable. So this acrylic is having very smooth finishing and gives very warmth to the babies. So most of the baby garments are made with this acrylic. So now let us see some questions based upon these uh, synthetic fibers and uh, their uses. First one is uh, fabric is made of options are like this steel, fiber, paper, none of these. Of course one of the questions which is taken from previous context questions. So fabric is made of steel, fiber, paper from which a fabric is made. If you know answer you can give answer in live chat. Which is the correct answer? Yes. Many of you are giving correct answer. Fiber. Very good. Fiber is the correct answer because fabric is uh, prepared from fiber. This uh, fiber is derived from either natural resources or artificial resources. These uh, fiber are twisted to make into yarn. Yes, fiber is correct answer. You can see here, these, uh, these are the core, these are the fibers which are derived from natural resources like plants and animals and from uh, man-made materials also. <coughs> these uh, fibers are twisted to form this yarn. When these fibers are many, they are twisted one 
all together then we get yarn like this this yarn are interfaced one into other to make fabric so this is uh, based upon this interfacing to inserting one into another the the design of these uh, fabrications are uh, obtained so by interfacing these uh, number of fabrics one into other we are getting these uh, fabrics so finally these fabrics are obtained from fiber from the fibers we are getting these fabrics this fabric is used for making clothes and garments so fab fibers are the sources for fabrics next question which of the following is an example of animal fiber so while discussing about natural fibers we told natural fibers means the fiber which are obtained from natural sources like uh, animals and plants so again based upon the source these natural sources are classified into two types animal fiber and plant fiber if plant fiber obtained from animals that is called animal fiber if the fiber is obtained from uh, animal uh, plants then it is called plant fiber let us see here options given for this cotton jute silk nylon so these are the different fibers now they are asking which fiber is derived from animal see here options will be can you give correct answer try to answer this question we know cotton is obtained from plant cotton plus from that uh, cotton is derived so it is a plant fiber not animal fiber and uh, jute jute is derived from bark of jute plant so it is also plant fiber not animal fiber silk silk is obtained from silk worm hence the silk is considered as a animal fiber whereas nylon we know this nylon is one of the synthetic fibers not a natural fiber so it is also not correct so finally silk is the correct answer which is a animal fiber yes silk is obtained from silk moth next question the strongest fiber among the following of course so many fibers are there from the natural resources and artificial resources but among them which is the strongest fiber they are asking in the given options see rayon nylon acrylic cotton which is the strongest fiber among these all we discussed about the properties of these fibers one of these is used for making of ropes on <clears throat> i mean rock climbing ropes parachutes shoe socks shoe lace and these tanks these all are made up of these uh, strongest fiber what is that yes many of you have been correct answer it is nylon because of its strongness it is used in making of uh, most of the ropes are made with this uh, nylon it is correct answer next let us see a synthetic fiber which works like wool yes we told artificial wool or fake fur what is that let us see options nylon polyester acrylic cotton among these which is called the artificial wool or fake fur it is also called what is that can you guess anybody here is it nylon or polyester acrylic cotton it is any guess yes many of you are giving correct answer not the polyester it is not nylon it is acrylic c is correct answer because acrylic is called as a artificial wool it seems like hair it seems like the fiber obtained from hair it seems like just like wool it is having the finishing and the smoothness also like wool it gives warmthness also like wool and hence it is called fake for or the synthetic fiber which looks like wool yes say it is looking like wool but it is not actually wool because of this uh, looking and uh, uh, smoothness it is making of uh, garments and it is replacing wool next question 
poly wool is a mixture of which substances so poly wool as we discussed it is one of the blended fiber what did we say blended fiber means the fiber which is obtained by mixing two or more fibers so when polyester is mixed with certain natural fiber then blended fiber is obtained so here they have given poly wool from which it is made let us see options polyester and wool polythene and wool polycarbonate and wool polyester plus wool plus cotton so what will be the correct answer for this uh, poly wool yes can you give poly wool means yes you are correct it is made from polyester and wool when we mix the polyester with natural fibers like wool we get uh, poly wool if you mix this polyester with cotton then it comes under poly cot these are called blended fibers so this is about uh, different types of synthetic fibers so yes it is poly wool it will be having the properties of both wool and polyester so this is about uh, synthetic fibers different kinds of synthetic fibers <coughs> Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe our channel and visit our website aimstoday.in. So there you can find all the updates regarding our live sessions, whatever the classes we are going to deal, what we are going to conduct in the future, and the schedules about these live sessions. All are uploaded in our website aimstoday.in. You can check there. You can visit our way, website. And even if you miss these live sessions, you can watch through our YouTube channel Aims Today. There also you can visit these later. You can watch these all classes later. If you want to get updates, please subscribe our channel so that we will be getting updates uh, time to time about these live sessions which we are going to handle. So thank you for watching this once again.